This is amazing. <laughs> Yo, girl, no, no. It's King Brew Pan. All right, you guys. So I seriously have stopped keeping track of which fan mail is the biggest because you guys send so much stuff all the time. I mean, this might be the biggest fan mail, but I seriously don't know. You guys send so much stuff. It's like impossible for me to keep track of everything. It's just it's just nuts. You guys are crazy. You're all madmen, all of you. And apparently women too because I had I had some uh, I had some uh, female uh, you know writers, which is weird. So I think what am I at? Like three three girls to watch the channel. That's pretty cool. Three girls to watch the channel. That's pretty epic so <laughs> I actually know there was a comment for a fourth one now that I think about it yeah there was a comment there's a fourth girl wow four girls to watch my channel guys broken way 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 broken but all jokes aside guys all jokes aside I need to get to opening this stuff uh, so that I don't burn up all my camera battery and I can get to in both my cameras and so I can get to you know actually get to everything and stuff like that so for the normal spiel if you want to send me your fan mail the P.O. box is 1391 Owasso Oklahoma 74055 and if you want me to sign cards and send them back to you then be sure to to stamp and address an envelope or some sort of package you know something adequate enough to hold all your cards so I can send them back um, so then in other words you write your own address down and I put the cards in what you send me to send them back in and I have full confidence that the cards make it back to you so um, with all that said guys uh, let's go ahead and get to opening this I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna try not to rush I'm gonna if, if it feels like I'm rushing guys it's seriously not because I, I'm trying to or anything like that it's seriously just because I only have a finite amount of battery both cameras are fully charged but there is a lot of stuff to open so let's just get right into this starting off with something from Rhett Bright let's see what Rhett has to say dear Yu-Gi-Oh no, no I've recently gotten back into Yu-Gi-Oh and your channel has been a huge help for me good I'm glad uh, to learn how to build a deck and understand meta uh, understand metas I uh, mainly uh, play cyber dragon so I'm sending a couple of cards for you to sign keep up the good work Rhett Bright well thank you for for writing and uh, I'm not gonna be able to sign these on camera I guess I could cut sign these on camera really really quick like I said though I have oh my gosh and you said scramble egg <laughs> that's really cool but I am in a big big hurry I will sign these really really quick but thank you so much for sending your mail dude uh, thank you so much for um for writing and everything like that I'll be sure to get these right back to you next up is from Alec Mendoza Alec Mendoza let's see what he has to say oh that was like precision that I opened that with all right so we have okay so please sign absolutely please sign absolutely um let's see uh let's so we have have the return letter very very nice let's see what this says though hey Yugi no no I've been a fan since the skit you did with Eugene character when you when Eugene equipped three acts of despairs and two mage powers on a time wizard and raised against attack points to 8500 and then attacking attacking directly and say get rank scrubbed uh, the a time wizard too overpowered it, it is it's way too OP um, ever since that I've enjoyed watching your uh, fan mail Monday videos larvae moth uh, card collecting and and how uh, Konami's been taking your Yu-Gi-Oh card ideas they could burn for all eternity in the depths of Simu's hair. Uh, anyways, I've uh, sent, uh, sent you, um, I've sent you cards for you to uh, hopefully sign and cards for you to keep. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I hope you like the cards that say keep. Uh, curious, if um, Obelisk is your father, then is Slifer your cousin? No, Slifer's my aunt. Um, also, do you think the the um, meta, uh, meta cards in today's game, like Ash Blossom, Evenly Matched, Barrel Roll Dragon, Barrel, oh, Barrel Load, you mean, Boar Load, I mean, um, etc., or um, are worth forty dollars plus for one copy? Um, well, whatever something's worth. I mean, if some if someone's willing to pay forty dollars for it, then yes, absolutely, it's worth forty dollars. Um, it's like if if something is selling consistently at a price and people are buying it, then that is how much it's worth. I don't know how how else to really explain that, but um, kind of the reason why. I I resorted into just uh, collecting cards with designs that I like building my collection up I don't know maybe it's just me um, once the college semester ends I'll try to practice and compete in local tournaments again uh, my power bond ancient gears almost defeated a pendulum magician deck but sadly I was one ancient gear monster short from power bonding into chaos ancient gear giant and getting and uh, getting it to 9,000 attack then it would have attacked all his monsters oh man I'm sorry you lost um, I did a uh, power bond into ultimate ancient gear golem and it was a thousand a uh, thousand points from game but hey either way it was a fun duel which I had no regret afterwards that's good that's that's the point um, even with today's uh, meta I enjoy um, ancient gears because it's a callback to Yu-Gi-Oh GX and, and Yu-Gi-Oh RB uh, one day I hope to um, make ancient gears power
power power bond a, a fearful deck to go up against have a good day and power bond for game one of your many youtube fans alec m thank you so much that was a really good letter thank you so so much for writing um i'll, I'll, I'll like thank you so much for i'm i'm, I'm like overwhelmed right now and i have so much i have so much to open but let's open up all of these and see what all you sent so these that was the keep pile and then these are these sign pile i can't that would be terrible if i got those confused but um so we have oh hey he sent cyber dragon stuff to sign that is sweet so he sent me cyber dragon stuff zane versus jaden graduation dual tribute uh, yeah pretty much that's pretty cool like um and then uh seal Rory calcos uh super poly um then hey all of his ancient gear cards very very cool yes i will absolutely sign all these for you uh but let's see what, what is this so I'll sign all these, like I have to put these in a pile. So so sign these, I'm gonna put these on the return envelope. So I know to sign those. And then, um, let's see, what? Father? <laughs> what? Did he send me like my whole family? Hey, yeah, he did. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a picture of my dad. A cousin? No, my aunt. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. That moment when you're a power bond, uh, but your opponent was over, uh, was over power. Oh, over, oh, magic cylinder freaking broken. A uh, best trap in old school Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes, it was, dude. Uh, the GOAT format for the win. GOAT format, greatest of all time format next to 2002 format. I mean, what? <laughs> um, rank 5 burn, uh, it is the way. Hey, Volcasaurus! Hey, you can never have too many of these. Dude, Volcasaurus is a really, really good card. And I think, um, as far as I know, I mean, it may, it may have gotten reprinted now. It may, it may have gotten a reprint now, but I can't remember what set. But yeah, its only print was in this uh, that that Zexel tin. That was like its only print for a long time, and so it's kind of hard to find. But really, really good card. Hey, uh, speaking of reprints, though, this is the um, the reprints Exiton Knight. Exiton needs to come back. I missed this card. That that card is super fun to play, dude. Thank you so much for sending cards. Thank you so much for sending cards to sign. Thank you so much for writing, dude. I'll be sure to sign your cards and send them right back to you. Thank you so so much. And this next one is from nobody. Apparently, though, they didn't put a name or a return address on this one so let's see what this one says oh wow a long long letter including a, including a deck list I can't look at the deck list today dude I'm not, I can't look at it today I can tell you that right now gosh I'm so busy today um, this letter will probably get to you two weeks after I send this but uh, send this out to you I have a few things to ask you have you ever played a teledad format this format looks very fun um yeah yeah I played it. I actually did even did a, an introduction to a teledad format um, on, on my channel but um, like a video on it but it's probably the reason why a uh, dark arm dragon is at one oh that is definitely why <laughs> dark arm dragon is like op um, plus you know, and, 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 like it's it's at one because of teledad format plus you know the card itself is very 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 strong um it's really good dark support and stuff and it's a level it's a level seven right so it's, it's a it's a sacred sword target too but uh, it that's neither here nor there or uh, but um the uh, other thing i wanted to ask um is if you could give uh, some advice on my cyber dragon deck build i will i i will include a a separate page uh, of my of my deck list. I have to admit, I am not liking the brilliant engine. There has have been uh, five matches on Dueling Book where I have opened with my Garnet in hand, and uh, that didn't. Uh, so the thing is, the thing is about um, Dueling Book, uh, it, it it just shuffles like crap. It it just shuffles like crap. The trick, honestly, really, the trick to not opening up Garnet when you play the brilliant engine is pile shuffling. Like you have to pile shuffle every single game, and uh, that is the secret to not um, opening up with. Uh, a garnet at least in my experience um that's how i don't open up a garnet all the time but um yeah uh, dueling book just shuffles like crap <laughs> so don't use do not use dueling book to test guys it just it's seriously bad like i mean there there's like i mean i will take like the most consistent deck like i mean i'm i mean let's just take the most consistent deck of all time like debatably necroz right so let's just take a uh, necroz and then put it in the dueling book uh you will brick with it somehow like you like i mean like i mean with dually book i mean you'll you'll brick with zoo <laughs> i swear like, the, 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 i can't stand dueling book I'm, i can go on and on and on like ranting about dueling book and i like it like the, the website itself was really well done and stuff but like the shuffling system and just like how long it takes to duel i can't stand it also desires is a neg nine it's not. <laughs> oh my gosh, how many times? But um, from the from the cards I sent you last time, you may keep the Athena. Oh, thank you. Um, lastly, I I, I think you. Uh, I uh, last, lastly, one thing. Do you see a, a see potential in Vindreds? Uh, yeah, I do, but I just don't think that they're ever gonna get there. But we'll see. Uh, because this is the next uh, deck I will be. Um, I will be um, something. Um, well, I will be building. I think he's saying uh, I will be something. Um, is Vindreds um, probably with? Um, 
a lot of traps. What do you think about Monster Reborn being unbanned and Stratos still banned? And tell Eugene to pay to, to pay <laughs> 800 off of Klee Scout. Um, well, um, uh, like Monster Reborn being unbanned, I think, I mean, honestly, like it's really, really fun and stuff, but um, it, it was really just to sell, you know, it's just to sell stuff. I mean, the, with the Monster Reborn promotion that they were doing, that was the whole point of like uh, unbanning Monster Reborn. So like that kind of sucks, like knowing that the card's probably going to get re-banned, like that kind of sucks. But um, it, it may not though, it might not. Like, I mean, it, I, c I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong. But um, yeah, I, I think it's I think it's it's fun. But um, it's Stratos still being banned. Stratos could stay banned, honestly. Like, I mean, for the, for the meme to continue, it could stay banned. <laughs> like, I know it sucks, but it's, it's still funny. Just like, I... I, I at this point, like, I just want to see how long it'll stay banned just for the meme, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, um, keep up the, uh, amazing content, Yugi no, no and thanks, thanks to you, I will be, uh, playing Heralds and Cyber Dragons from now on. Oh, no, that's awesome, uh, no problem. Uh, sincerely a fan. Well, thank you very, very much for writing. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Well, thank you very, very, very much for writing. I won't be able, and, uh, I, I mean, I can't, I can't, I seriously do not have the time to look at your build and analyze it and stuff like that. Maybe if I only got, like, three things in the mail, but I got, like, 30 things in the mail so I'm really really sorry I can't look at your build but thank you so much for writing and I wish you a lot of luck in playing Yu-Gi-Oh in the future. Alright next up let's open up a package this one is from Shane uh, I can't pronounce that last name so uh, whoa that, that all came out at the same time though too so let's see so that's the return envelope lots of lots of cards that's like sticky though like the top letters are sticky for some reason but let's see what this says oh my gosh it's a long one but it's tight though so it's cool all right so uh dear yugi no no my name is uh, shane uh, uh biff queen I'm, I'm i'm probably butchering that dude <laughs> but uh, don't worry about trying to pronounce it <laughs> he, he knows he knows but don't worry about trying to pronounce it there are as many pronunci pronunciations to my last name as you have uh, versions of, of yours yugi yes yes I, I it has been a very long time since i have uh, written a letter uh, truth be told last time i wrote a letter was for a class i got an f <laughs> Uh, anyway, I've been um, waiting to write you since I first saw your Fan Mail Monday videos uh, several months ago, which I find really cool as it shows that you are pretty interactive with your fans, and I think that is pretty cool. And that, that, that is seriously the whole purpose of this, is just to, you know, have an outlet to where you guys can, uh, can like, directly talk to me and, uh, and, that, um, and, and, and show off, you know, what you can do and show off, like, you know, your, your stuff, like, you know, your Yu-Gi-Oh! stories, um, you know, your fan art, um, just, just everything. And it gives me a chance to uh, get to know you guys and uh, for you guys to get to know me you know like get to get to ask me questions and stuff and find out things that I just don't blatantly you know just come out and say on the channel you know what I mean like it's like why, why would for example just off the top of my head like why would I just come out and say my favorite color is like purple or red or black and I can't decide what my favorite color is but like let's just say like my favorite color is black right but why would I just like open up a video like my favorite color is black why would I do that? <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, through this, uh, people were able to, you know, ask me uh, questions and find out things that uh, about me that they might want to know and stuff. But um, anyways, I'm a little embarrassed it took me so long to write you. A while back, I actually uh, messaged you about how you did uh, your intro for your videos. Full disclosure, I had no idea what you were talking about at the time. But since I had been messaging, uh, messing with the video software, I was able to afford. Uh, ever since I was working with stuff, everything you said slowly began to make sense. So that's really, really good. Um, anyway. Anyways, I did uh, have a, a few things to say that I actually wanted to share with you how I got into the game. Uh, first off, I did want to say that I have enjoyed your videos uh, much more since your big face reveal on your subscriber video. <laughs> what? I have to say the fake face you, you wore before was pretty cheesy. <laughs> Enjoying your videos since my friend showed me your channel. The first thing I did was watch every one of your skits you have me yeah, done, and so far laughed my ass off for a good while. Um, what, when I was um, asking you about the intro, I was actually starting back up my YouTube channel. My, my best friend um, and me started back up in uh, 2016. That's really really good. Um, I ended up going to college uh, not too uh, long after we tried to uh, start. It started, and despite um, me actually being closer to my locals, I didn't really have the time. Sometimes it works out like that we're like you're closer to where you work but like you're less motivated i've had something similar happen um now that i have um, been out of college for a while i have gotten it into it, it running again and have uh put up uh, quite a few videos in the past couple of months really I'm, that's good and it's really been a work in progress uh, despite that i have to say it's a lot of fun i will put the channel name at the bottom of the letter if you uh, would want to do a shout out absolutely this is that this is how you get guys get shout outs but if if you don't uh, you 
should go uh, watch the power box opening. You might see something cool about this letter. Uh, some of my uh, favorite uh, decks are Dark Magician, Heroic Challengers, and Gym Knights, even though I don't currently have any of the uh, of the cards. Oh, that sucks. Um, it, as for now, I got into the game. Uh, unlike most kids, I found out about the anime after the cards. Um, back uh, when they first came out with the Yugi and Kaiba packs that they uh, actually just reprinted. Me and my friend uh, both got packs. My favorite uh, card was Familiar Knights because I thought he had the best artwork. What actually kept me in the game would, uh, when I was in second grade, our teacher had a thing where if I, we turned in our homework every day for a week, we could turn in a punch card filled in for something at Walmart. That's cool. At the time, uh, uh, Pokemon was on the rise again and I asked for a pack of Pokemon. Pokemon cards when Monday came around she came back with a Warriors Triumph structure deck I was forever in love and broke for Yu-Gi-Oh as, as, as um, and, and Yu-Gi-Oh is an expensive mistress that's what he's trying to say oh I was doing so good I was reading so well there for a while uh, but um, I but I have already wasted enough of your battery thanks for reading he knows he this guy knows <laughs> but but thanks for reading my letter and, and of course I'm um, have some cards uh, for you to sign and a few cards for you to keep they will be labeled on the cards don't worry uh, anyway, have a good rest of your Monday. You too. Uh, Team COG. P.S. I also became a patron last month. Thank you so much. Yes, I thought your name looked, looked really familiar. Uh, but thank you so, 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 so much. This was a really good letter. Let's see. Um, I'm glad I was help, able to help you out on your channel and stuff too. Like, I'm really, really glad. Uh, because, you know, sometimes people, it is, it is a little it is a little awkward sometimes. You know, people will ask me for, like, directly, you know, they'll message me directly for help on, on uh, you know, for YouTube stuff or editing stuff. And I'll try to explain things. I'm like, well, what questions do you have? And then they'll be like, well, how do you do this or this and I'm explaining it but they're not I mean you have to get to like a certain point to understand everything that that I'm able to, to all the information that I'm able to kind of give uh, don't feel bad long story short don't feel bad like uh, it's 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 not just you like that's happened to several other people but um uh, let's go ahead and uh, sign sign and send back absolutely absolutely and let's see what what you sent to sign um, oh, that is sweet. Seal Bori Kalkos, High Priestess of Prophecy, Mark of the Rose, Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. And then the, uh, what's that one called? Uh, gosh, I know what this is called. God, I'm terrible. I'm terrible with names and terrible card names. And then uh, Cyber Dragon, very sweet. A couple of Cyber Dragons. These, oh, a playset? These are my favorite ones, too. These ones, yes. The LCGX, yeah, Legendary Collection uh, GX. Cyber Dragons, the alternate art secrets. These are my favorite Cyber Dragons. Dude, thank you so, so, so much. Um, I will definitely sign these. What'd you, see, what'd you uh, send it? What'd you send for me to keep? That's awesome. Whoa, dude! Revenge Red Slayer, DDD, Oblivion King, Abyss Ragnarok, dude! That makes me, I, I seriously want to build DDDs. I regret not building it, like, for the week it was good. <laughs> Because the deck's so cool looking. But dude, Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger, Destiny Hero, Ducktopia, uh, Dusktopia. Sorry, Dusktopia. And then uh, Pendulum uh, Mucho. Pendulum Mucho. Dude, thank you so, so much for the cards. Um, I will definitely sign these and send them right back your way. Thank you so much for writing. All right, this next one is from a Joe Abazia. So let's see what he has to say. This one's tape, so this one's going to take me a second. So we have a letter, some cards. What else is in here? Oh, this is the return envelope. Very, very cool. So there's the return envelope envelope that is awesome some cards to see what this says all right Yugi bro bro first time sending fan mail hope this makes it to you in one piece I started watching your channel around Christmas time and I have been hooked ever since you have really good handwriting by the way I took some time off from Yu-Gi-Oh when links were introduced but you honestly reignited my love for the game and reminded me why I love it I don't I don't want to take too much of your time since I know you have a ton of mail to go through but I was just wondering if you could sign the two cyber dragons I sent they will be proudly displayed to my binder absolutely also I sent uh, two cards for the misfit binder hey uh, that I signed um, it's my fa uh, fiance's favorite card and one of my uh, favorite cards growing up I also sent three cards for you to keep which I properly thank you which I properly labeled offerings to UK Jesus one is for you uh, one is for your goat format collection one is a random card I had a, a, a ton of copies of in my binder and one is a is a bit worn because I, I got it for you at a, at a flea market when I saw you say you only had one or two copies so now you have a playset 
sets. Uh, one one last thing. The um, what, what card are you talking about? I have like several almost complete play sets. Uh, one last thing. The uh, the decks I have uh, from uh, pre links are my uh, Cyber Dragons, Harpies, and Vi Vampires. Uh, for links, I'm going to make a Burning Abyss deck. I, I that, that, that's a really good deck. I think uh, John Moore's play, playing a Burning Abyss or something. Uh, I know you uh, are the uh, Cyber Dragon God, but uh, using your powers, I was uh, wondering if you know a channel to check out for ideas for Burning Abyss. Um, uh, Farfa, uh, he does several Burning Abyss videos. At least I've seen him do. Like he's talked about Burning Abyss. Um, I'm sure he's done duels and stuff. He's like he's talked about a uh, Burning Abyss. Um, as a deck for, for, I mean, in several videos, I've seen him talk about it, but I don't know if he's done deck profiles. I'm sure he has, though. Keep up the amazing content, and thank you for making my commute to and from work a treat. Huge fan, Joe A. Please turn. Uh, P.S. If you could, please bless my pulls for the legendary collection Kaiba I pre-ordered. They are blessed, my child. They are blessed. Dude, thank you so, so much for writing. Thank you so much for the cards. Oh my gosh, dude. Joe and Alexis, this is really, really cool. This, uh, so these are for the Misfit Binder. Um, this, oh man, this is really cool. So I think he's, I think these he sent me, yeah, offerings to Yugi Jesus. So these are ones are for me. So I thought, so this is going to complete my play set of um, Electromagnetic Turtle, I think is what he's talking about. Very, very cool. Um, Summon Skull, very awesome. And then let's see, this is actually 2002 format though, not Go format. But it's technically, you can play it in Go format, technically. But oh my gosh, then two Cyber Dragons. I will absolutely sign these and get them back to you. Let's go ahead and get out the Island of Misfit Binder though. <laughs> really really quick and uh put these in here so we have right here oh wrong side all right so the island of misfit binder full of mystic clowns and uh and uh reminders that i need to uh, do a certain video that i keep saying i'm gonna do <laughs> I never get time for oh my gosh you guys know what video I'm talking about I'm terrible I'm like terrible 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 but in my defense I always com I always uh, complete my promises to my fans it, it's just how long it takes me <laughs> but, dude uh, this is uh, this is uh, the updated uh, so I guess this is uh, me showing off the uh, island of misfit minor this is like where you got where you know if you send me just random stuff uh, I, I just this is where that where it ends up <laughs> a lot of the times uh, this is where it ends up uh, if you guys sign your cards and stuff like he did uh, then uh, we know whenever I open this up in the future you'll see your cards in here so um, that is why he signed those and uh, this it's really really fun like you know doing the island of misfit fighter I think it's it's literally the most random thing I have in my entire house it's so crazy but uh, thank you so much for writing I'll be sure to sign your cards and get them right back to you thank you so so much this next one is also apparently from nobody uh, but this one came from it looks like Britain because it's like royal mail by airmail. <laughs> so let's open this up and see what's in here. What is all this? Let's see what this says. Dear, oh wow, this writing though, wow. All right, so dear, uh, it's fancy. Dear Yugi Nano, no. first off, I want to thank you for inspiring me to start up my own YouTube channel. Man, I, a couple of you guys today, that's awesome. Uh, your, your videos motivated me to bring out content such as my own deck profiles, YGO Pro Replays, or how many, uh, or, or how my decks work with uh, some amazing combos and I will slowly ease into uh, product openings. That's really cool. Please bestow upon me some, uh, some wonderful mag magical sh sugary unicorn Jesus power so my channel could gain some exposure uh, in English I think that means I would really appreciate a shout out my channel name is Yugi Penguin so Yugi Penguin uh, your monarch uh, deck profile um, was one of my favorites so I ended up uh, making a divine monarch in uh, homage to you good sir if you could if you or anyone watching this which way which they will be parentheses uh, please stop by and check it out sometime I have enclosed a, a signature uh, I've enclosed a signature card and a few um, uh, random uh, but meaningful cards to me uh, you may as well uh, you you may do as you please with them I know you're not great with uh, people's names but we had a small chat on Facebook and I uh, looked out uh, for a video you uploaded when within minutes I commented knowing you were <laughs> you were waiting for me yes I remember that uh, thank you once again uh, you're an awesome guy S sincerely uh, from your friend across the pond in the UK uh, Glenn aka Yugi Penguin that's really really cool yeah that's something that happens sometimes like uh, I'll be like waiting for like a video to upload like it like I'm just sitting there just watching you know or like I'm in the other, other room or something like that like keeping track of it with my phone so I know when it's like up so I can finish doing my YouTube stuff and like um people will message me let's just say like you know someone messaged me like hey where's that cyber dragon update and I'm just like 
wait 10 minutes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's going up. And that happens to me sometimes. It's really, really funny. Uh, but that didn't happen in this situation. I can't remember what happened in this situation because I'm, oh, gosh, my memory is just, it's not the best, guys. It's really not the best. Uh, I, did, I did too much partying in my younger days. But, um, oh, my gosh, dude, thank you so much. This is so sick. Shared ride, and, it, and then this token he even signed. That is awesome, dude. And then shared ride. This one, see, uh, uh, this is a European shared ride. The ink is darker. The, the, the European cards look pretty cool. They look pretty different. And then we have, this is so sick. Monarchs Ether, the Heavenly Monarch, and the Nightmare Penguin. Oh my gosh. Dude, thank you so much for writing. I hope that this helps your channel. I hope that people, you know, go in and check out your content and stuff like that. If you message me or remind me, I'll even go check out your content. But so I don't sit here and ramble on like I just was and waste battery. <laughs> thank you so much for writing, dude, and good luck with your channel. This next one is from a Sebastian Cavell. Let's see what he has to say. All right, so that is everything out of that. That was super, super easy to open. I love those. So read. So this one's read first. Okay, so this one's read first. Oh, gosh. I would have tried to read it. This handwriting, though. This handwriting, though. Uh, hello, Yugi Dodo. Maybe, maybe, sometimes, sometimes you get the point. You get the point <laughs> in my life, in my life. Oh, my gosh. This is the guy that got you. The, I thought I recognized this handwriting. This is the guy that got you to sign the uh, Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Yes, I've talked to you on Facebook. I'm a Sebastian. Instead of talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! Mostly, I'll be uh, talking about what I uh, what I do personally. Uh, what I, uh, what I want to, what I want to, what I want to be as a career standpoint is a film producer. That'd be cool. Uh, I see what people create and I want to create it and entertain people and make people happy. Now back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, continue on second page. P.S. I don't know if I believe in, uh, in Jesus Atheist. Well, you better believe in me. So second letter, dear Yu-Gi-Oh! No, no, why, why I am doing this again? I have sent you a few cards. Uh, for some reason, I sent, uh, sent uh, three of uh, good it's, it's three of that either says good or god card in the past because why not i don't own a jerry beads man uh, unfortunately i did uh, i did finish the uh, dark magician deck and i and i am i'm ready to play at locals maybe parentheses also if there is a, a, a semi meta deck i can i can uh, build that isn't spirals tell me uh, so it's semi meta deck that you can build that isn't spirals Oh, you, you can build a, a meta deck that isn't spirals it's magicians <laughs> so there's that uh, but I loved your uh, pot of desires video which informed me about wonderful pot of desires see see oh my gosh see I, the, what's really sad is I, I seriously thought the joke was dead and then like I post on my Facebook page apparently the joke wasn't dead there was seriously people that, that still think pot of desires is bad so I was like so what's really what's really really funny about that though i'm not gonna ramble on for too long though but what's really really funny about that is i actually recorded that um that skit it's like an opening to a longer video and then i ended up trashing the longer video because i was like no nah, just the skit is perfect I, I just spend the rest of the time over explaining it so i just like trashed the rest of the video and then uploaded the skit and it was just I, I think it really helped a lot of people at least i was trying to help a lot of people you know realize that the card is really really good but um pps if i uh, dick slap the like button i uh, mentioned uh 30 what? If PPS, if I dick slap the like button 13, does that make me illegal? Ah, oh, don't do that. But thank you so much for writing. Let's see what you sent, though. Oh, hey, Goyo Guardian, Spiral Last Resort, Destrudo. Destrudo's really good. A Spiral Quick Fix, also really good. Eidos, hey, a play set of Eidos. That is sweet, dude. That is way sick. Let's see what this one is. Oh my gosh, more monarchs, dude! This is sick. And then Link bunk, Bumper, Castell, the Sky Blaster Musketeer, really, really good card. And then a uh, Gold Sarcophagus. Thank you so, so, so much. That's awesome. Uh, thank you so much for for writing me, dude. Um, I, I can't really. I mean, I'm sorry that I can't. You know, I'm, I'm having a rush and you know, and go through everyone else's mail. But seriously, thank you so much for the cards. Thank you so much for writing, and um, I'll talk to you next time. But now let's open up this one. I want to open up this one to see what this is. Let's see if I get here. I could just probably bend those. Yes. So we have. Have a letter and some cards. Oh no, it's a deck list though. I can't look at deck list, guys. Come on now. And then um, there is uh, some some letter. There's a letter. The return envelope. Very very nice. But hey, he drew Cyber Dragon. That is sweet. A sup a sup a Yugi potentially potentially, aka Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus. Uh, just uh, uh, saying, you make a good shit. But uh, anyway, so you got me to uh, try a goat format through uh, through uh, some through some uh, all the uh, I can't I can't tell what that is. All the people near me that play Yu-Gi-Oh were kids during the 5Ds area. Don't really have goat cards, so I 
So I played on the uh, GBA World Championship 2000, 2004, uh, 2006 game. There you go, the 2006 game. My favorite uh, GOAT deck is Zoo Beatdown. Uh, by the way, unfortunately, don't have um, any Larvae Moss or Jerry Beans Man. So the uh, memeiest card I got is a Magic Cylinder. But anyway, sent you some of my favorite cards. The sleeve cards are the ones I want you to sign. The Magic Cylinder is my gift to you. Thank you very much. Sorry, it's kind of screwed up. Uh, but yeah, I tend to uh, usually play a uh, rogue decks. My favorite deck are my favorite decks are Christron, Drag Dinosaurs, Cardians, and uh, Aliens. Uh, hashtag Jerry Beads. <laughs> oh my God, no, not Jerry Beads, man. Um, here's a uh, here's a shoddy uh, Cyber Dragon. I drew in like 10 or 20 minutes. Uh, I'm bad. <laughs> what? It's, no, no, I'm bad at perspective. He says, no, it's really good. I can't draw a circle. Uh, my uh, my Dirac build is on the back. Oh, uh, whenever you you want to look at it, I can't. I seriously don't have the time to look at it, guys. Like, if you guys send me your deck list, like, I seriously just like with everything and just the sheer amount of mail and everything, you know, video making and everything else going on my life, I just I seriously, guys, cannot, you know, uh, properly critique you guys' decks. I can't. Like, I can look at your decks and like and like give you just like off the top suggestions, but like actually sitting down and like trying to critique your deck and uh, and you know telling you uh, why certain cards are bad and certain cards are good, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I like I seriously can't sit down and properly critique you know your deck and stuff like that so i just don't do it at all and not to mention um you know um, as if i do if i um you know if i do one person's deck profile if i like look at you know and critique one person's deck profile then i have to do it for everybody <laughs> and, like, and like if i do it so like in other words like you can imagine like if i were to sit here and spend like this entire video you know just like uh you know uh fixing you know fixing your deck profile or like you know uh telling you what you got right what you got wrong or just you know or just my opinions on the deck or whatever um if i spent like the entire video Video doing that then like everybody would send me their deck list and it, like I would never get anything done <laughs> so um, the, sorry, I'm sorry guys I know I know that that sucks to hear and stuff but it's just the honest truth like I just it would it would eat up like so much of my time and stuff and these videos already take me so long as it is not to mention you know like um, you trying to get everything done within a reasonable amount of time so that the video actually makes it up <laughs> at a decent time every night oh my gosh that's just crazy but um, I'm not gonna get into like you know every single detail but uh, thank you so much for sending mail dude thank you so so much i'm sorry that i wasn't able to look at your deck profile but um i will definitely definitely sign these and get them back to you an uno card this is an old uno card dude what job four freaking broken uh chris john uh rosenix then we have ultimate conductor tyranno busted oh my gosh i'm dropping stuff everywhere and he sent me the magic cylinder thank you so 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 much dude and then um what is what is this so it's like a fake card back it's like a what what this card is a, is a token and what what is this uh Jirak spinos very very cool all right dude i will definitely sign these and send them back your way thank you so much for writing and stuff once again i'm sorry i wasn't able to look at your deck profile and you know what looking at these let's go ahead and open up another package since i know what this one is actually let's go ahead and open this one up because i i want to show you guys this so guys this is this is the official you know, because I do Yu-Gi-Oh! music videos on the channel all the time. But Ryan, um, you know, the, the helps, uh, Ryan, and Rantheon, that helps um, uh, David Ader out on his channel. David Ader 1212, if you guys haven't checked him out, check him out. Uh, but, you know, we made the Pot of Creed joke forever ago, a really long time ago. I think we are on a stream, too, when we made the Pot of Creed joke. But the Pot of Creed, the official logo, uh, and then t-shirt of Pot of Creed. You guys are going to start seeing me, like, wear this in, in videos and stuff, or see Eugene uh, start wearing this in videos. <laughs> this is actually a really, really incredible... Uh, shirt design uh, Ryan did a fantastic job on it so shout out to him and stuff um, just uh, just uh, wanted to open this up and uh, you know share it with you guys because I knew what it was and this is just really really cool so be on the lookouts for you know uh, this shirt on the channel and all that stuff and be on and uh, if you guys want to um, you know purchase this shirt and stuff I will have the uh, link you know to uh, David Nader's uh, Teespring and stuff which I also need to start my own because I have several shirt designs and something I've been you know that's been on the back burner for a long time is like my shirt designs and stuff something I've had on the back burner for like a year but long story short guys I will have the link to, to purchase this shirt down in the description if you are interested and uh, be sure to check out David Nader's channel next up we have one from Kelton Cordell hey this guy's written before the studio has to say this time and I'm actually just now noticing that he wrote on the back of this from that day on we was always together M. Cole and Simu was like peas and carrots life is like a box of chocolates <laughs> what? what is what is this oh my gosh yo boo oh this can't be good oh no yo Bushka, yo Kantos dear Yugi no, no. I, in, a, in my previous letter, I forgot to include an envelope and address information. Sorry about that. 
Also, college semester has uh, started up again for me, so it has been a while. By the time you get this letter, my birthday has probably just passed. Well, happy late birthday. Uh, my classes this semester are, are so uh, far going by easy. Good. I am taking uh, calculus, um, uh, micro, uh, microeconomics, uh, general chemistry, and an engineering course. I failed them uh, last semester, so I have to take retake this semester. Oh my gosh. Um, more exciting, uh, more exciting matters. I, I got to rewatch the new Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Well, one of my friends said he didn't see it yet, and I asked if I and, he, and asked if I had. To be honest, I lied to him. I got to see a free movie essentially because my friend paid for the admissions. After seeing the new Star Wars film twice, I got to admit there were some things in the movie that bothered me. However, watching the film the second time seemed better than watching it the first time. And actually, no, it was the opposite for me. The second, like I, I, gave, I tried to give it a second chance, and I couldn't make it through the movie. It was so bad, guys. Like I, I mean, seriously, like you know, from a filmmaking standpoint and stuff, like that movie was awful from a story that's from a overall story I mean if you if you like it good great for you but I'm serious like I, I, I I'm still salty about that movie I'm sorry I'm still salty about that movie <laughs> like I like I uh I really tried to like it, and I gave it a second. I tried to give it a second viewing. I, I stopped watching it. I'm serious. I stopped. It was it was too bad. It made me cringe way too hard. Maybe as we Star Wars fans critique a new Star Wars film is because of the high anticipation and hype surrounding the movie. No, I actually went with a complete open mind. It just wasn't. I mean, and then, then the way. I mean, everything was so anticlimactic, and like things were forced. There was plot points that shouldn't have been there. The whole movie was just kind of a, an entire mess. I'm not gonna sit here and you know tear apart the movie entirely in this video. As much as I want to, I like I, I just can't. I, I seriously can't today. We have like way too much to do, guys. We have way too much to do. Uh, not to mention the high hopes and standards we wish to see in a new uh, Star Wars film. Lastly, the nostalgia of the original tri trilogy is so iconic it honestly cannot compare to the prequels and the new sequel. See, I hear people say that. And, like honestly, like I mean, I, I feel I feel like that's true with some people, but like it's it's not true with me. And I also feel like a lot of the times when this when this phrase is used, when that phrasing is used, it's like um like a cop out, like you know, making an excuse for the movie, and I'm just like no if they would have made a good movie then you wouldn't have to use that excuse in the first place but you know uh, that's that's just my opinion guys i'm really salty about the movie and stuff it's just it was it just really wasn't a good movie i mean you could try and try and try and reason as to why it's a good movie and stuff it was beautiful looking it, it looked great the the, uh, the special effects crew and stuff that spent months on that movie did a fantastic job the the, the uh, screenplay the script writers you know just everything else yeah the actors even yeah they they all dropped the ball though <laughs> like the director himself even yeah they all dropped the ball but the uh, the effects people did a fantastic job on that movie um, and now introducing the new hit song and number on the oh my gosh and number one on the music bill, uh, billboard for the rest of eternity it's it's old uh, MC Simu had a farm what old McSimu had a farm MC I said oh my gosh I said MC Simu uh, old McSimu had a farm uh, use old McDonald had a farm tune old McSimu had a farm E I E I milk me harder ooh oh my gosh no I'm not singing this dude I'm not singing this. Oh my god. With a larvae moth here and a larvae moth there. Everywhere a larvae moth. Yugi no no memes more more support. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, the ending is pretty good. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. Oh my god. Thank you for telling me to turn the page. Uh, yo, Bushka and Kantos. A new challenger approaches. I probably will will not be fan male champion, but I, Kelton, am the fan male champion of best amazing funny and epic letters approved by Yugi no no. You guys cannot deny that. Hashtag fa fact. Hashtag respect. Hashtag praised and acknowledged by Yuki and Jesus himself. Yuki, no, no. In other, in other news, I want... You guys are all crazy. In other words, I went to Extreme Forces sneak peek pulled only two ultras. No secrets. I was thinking, do you have any of the new Mythical Beast Pendulum cards or that um, magical Citadel Field spell? Like, I, I sold... Like, uh, I actually recently listed a bunch of stuff and sold it. But uh, lastly, I wonder if the uh, reason why uh, Simu was uh, so en enthusiastic is because of uh, M. Cole 40's tip milk. Maybe Simu nosed away. Uh, oh my god. Uh, oh my god. That, that's that got to be it. M. Cole 40 is the queen and Simu is just secretly Uganda Knuckles uh, drinking from the queen's tit milk. Oh my god. Uh, when are these memes going to die? Uh, as, uh, as always, keep up with the awesome skits. Have uh, have any new Extreme Forces Mythical Beast 
cards. Stay awesome. I actually really don't. I sold them all. Um, uh, stay awesome. Stay golden. Sincerely, Celtic Sea. And like honestly, like and that's another thing. Like you know, if someone asks me for cards and I, and I um, you know, and I get and I send cards and stuff, that's gonna like you know get everybody to ask for cards. And like I, I don't. And I one, I don't have cards enough for everybody and stuff like that. And then like and like two, like I just can't be happy. You know, everybody asks for cards all the time. It's like the same argument I was using earlier. You know, like well, I can't look at one person's deck list because then I'm gonna get flooded with deck lists. It's it's the same. It's the same thing. It's like I mean, finally got like once again, finally got a few things, guys. Or finally got like a few requests. Absolutely, but like you know, I just a few requests turns in like for for a channel like uh, you know a channel this size and stuff. And like you know, with just me, just me, just me running this stuff. Oh my gosh, like it, it would just blow up and just overwhelm me so quick. It, it really, really would. And Kelton, you really, really do write some of the best letters I get on the channel. Like I'm not even kidding. You do write some really, really great letters. Thank you so much for writing again. And good luck with overthrowing Bushka and Ke and uh, and Anthony. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you can do it, but, but seriously, good luck with doing it. Next up, we have something from Yu Yi Yang. Yu Yi Yang. Let's see what this is. Oh my gosh, this is amazing so far. Okay, so we have a lot of cards, like a ton of cards. Oh my gosh. And this return envelope. So return envelope. <gasps> A lot of cards. Wow. Hey, Yugi No No was really contemplating on Cindy cards you to sign for me because I was thinking of quitting Yu Gi Oh! You're the only Yu Gi Tuber that I watch. The uh, others, I, I just skip over, over the, their, their, their videos, to be honest. Um, good work good work on your channel. I'm looking forward to seeing how it grows. Please sign and return the cards. Don't know what else to add. Sincerely, a lurker, but the best lurker. Well, thank you so much for writing. Um, and uh, I will definitely uh, sign these and send them back to you. I mean, uh, uh, you, you, you guys aren't, you know, you guys aren't obligated to write, you know, entire paragraphs or anything like that. It can be this simple. But, yo, you send me a DDD deck. I will absolutely. Dude, I will absolutely sign these and send them back your way. Thank you. I, I, I might have to use less top loaders and stuff and like and consolidate it so it's like less heavy. But yeah, I will I will definitely sign these and send them right back your way. Thank you so much for writing. This next one's from a Brandon Deacon. That name seems really, really familiar. I want to say this person's wrote before as well, or at least I've spoken to them before. But I could be wrong. Once again, you know, me and names and, and all that stuff. I'm just like, I'm like, I mean, I, some what's really weird is some names I'll remember and I'm just like, yeah, you. But then other people like will write me like several times. And I'm just like who are you like and I feel so bad because like I'm just I can't help it like I really really can't help it I feel so bad every single time I mean it's like that, that it's like that meme like where you meet someone and you know you know and, you, and uh, they, they they use your name but you don't remember their name and your brain's just like ah like that's how I feel like all the time it's crazy but uh, Yugi Nono I want to start off with saying that I thoroughly enjoy your videos thank you very much I was debating getting out of the game a few months ago until my buddies I play with showed me your channel and you helped me continue to uh, want to play the game and just to have fun with it instead of being so serious with the game like I was becoming. Enough about that though, enough about that enclosed enclosed in the white clear sleeve are a couple of treats for you to keep. The in in the top loader is a couple of field centers that I uh, had showed you on Facebook. Yes, dude! They, they, these are not the foil versions yet, but those will be coming shortly. Yes, dude. Yes, I knew your name was familiar. Decided to send these in to you now so you won't be waiting too long to get your hands on these. Look forward to seeing your reaction when, when opening these. Best regards, Brandon Deacon. Thank you so much for writing. Yes. And, uh, dude, uh, so I have a, uh, yes. He, he sent me, and I knew your name looked familiar. So he sent me um, these really, really cool field centers. Can't wait to show you guys. Uh, sorry for, um, sorry for, uh, uh, what does this say? Um, sorry for I, explanation on the other side. Uh, I can't read. You guys, man, I cannot read this. Sorry um, for condition of cards was one of uh, one of I was uh, man one one I got and was unusable to get near mint, which I have super super rares now. Other was going to be um, force realized to. Small before putting in water was able to ignore you would enjoy besides me play set. That's that's about all I got out of it. <laughs> I'm really sorry, dude. I can't I seriously like I can't I can't read some of this stuff. I'm really trying. Like I can't read. I can't read some of this stuff. Oh my gosh! But um, uh, right here, so su uh, surprises inside. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. So. Oh my gosh, so hey, Cyber Dragon, very cool, dude, this is awesome, and then a Dogra on the Mad Flame Kaiju, that is amazing, let's see what, the, what, what is all this, and then we have, oh my, whoa, whoa, that's cool, that, wow, wow, these are sweet, oh my gosh, these are cool, 
Wow. Guys, these are amazing. Dude, thank you so much. Dude, thank you, Brandon. Thank you so, so, so much. This is, um, oh my gosh, these are some of the coolest tokens. Um, I need to show you guys, I have a video I plan to make where I show you guys the tokens that you guys have sent me that I really do like keep in my deck box and stuff and use all the time. Um, that is all, like, and I'm serious, I might add this to uh, my tokens that I carry around. Like this is actually really, really, really sick, dude. Thank you so much for sending me these. And now on to what I know. Yeah, this is what I know right here. Yes, oh my gosh, this is so cool. <laughs> Okay, so I probably shouldn't have taken that out of the sleeve, but it was in backwards. But dude, right here, these field centers, and he's actually going to foil these. I saw the foil ones. He's sending me foil ones, guys, and they're going to be so sweet when they get here. Dude, thank you so, so, so much. You make, oh my gosh, the, the, you guys sent me like some of the coolest stuff. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then LOB stuff. Hey, LOB format stuff. Dude, thank you so much. Dude, that's deep format stuff. Thank you so, 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 so much. More LOB unlimited cards. Let's see what he sent. So Petite Angel, uh, Succubus Knight, Typhoon, and J Jerry Beans. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jerry Beans. That's not LOB. Come on. But dude, thank you so, so much. This will go in I Island of Misfit Binder. Thank you so much for the LOB stuff. Thank you so much for the tokens. Thank you so much for the field centers. Dude, thank you so much for writing. I seriously cannot wait to get these and foil. Dude, they're going to be so sick i can't wait to show them off thank you so much again all right so let's open up another package now and see what this is this is like packed full i have no idea what's in this one guys i have whoa now i know what's in this one. Oh my gosh there's a whole mat in here wow and then there whoa whoa i'm like dropping cards everywhere but dude there's a ton of cards in here wow a ton of cards and then a letter and then a whole return package. Very, very nice. So I, so I assume they did this right. I'm gonna have to like sign all these and send them back in this. And I think, yes, that's exactly what's going on. That is sweet. Thank you very, very, very much. That is exactly, that is exactly what needed to be done. Thank you so much for doing that. Um, so let's see, see what this says. So dear uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus, this is Mr. and Mrs. Moneybags. Uh, first time writing to you, so we don't know um, what, what to really say uh, uh, other than thank you. Uh, your YouTube channel has become a staple in our evening entertainment. We watch uh, every every video that you post up and can't get enough. Fan Mail Monday is the reason for us to do this. Oh, thank, I'm really, really glad that you enjoy it. Thank you, man. I'm really glad both of you enjoy it. Thank you very, very much. Um, this is uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Money Bags. I'm asking you to sign a bunch of cards because my deck got hit and now I am sad. This is Mr. Money Bags. I am, I am trolling the, sh the shit out of you to sign the, all the hallow hallows with all the sentimental bullshit set aside. Here is some cyber dragons to sign as well. And now a very special gift for you. Hope you enjoy it and hope to see it in future videos. P.S. Larvae Moth rises again. P.P.S. If you can extend a shout out to your Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, to our Yu-Gi-Oh! team and YouTube channel, uh, Team Eagle, Team Eagle something, whatever that says, Team Team Eagle Factor, is that right? Team Eagle Factor? Like, what that says, hashtag call, motherfucker, <laughs> that's good, uh, Mrs. And, and Mr. and Mrs. Moneybags, well, thank you so much for, for writing, um, so what, what did you send, so, oh my gosh, your whole deck, oh, so it's a Pendulum Magician deck, and then Cyber Dragons, what, what all is this, hold on, let me, let me make a stack here, so we have all this Pendulum Magician stuff, Cyber Dragon stuff, Hello Hallows, why, why, why is Hello Hello a troll, why is that a thing, anyways, uh, Cyber Dragon, uh, lots of Cyber Dragons, all kinds of different rarities of Cyber Dragon, these are sweet, Sweet, dude. Um, Cyber Dragon Dry, uh, Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon, so like more Pendulum stuff, like Odd Eyes Pendulum stuff. That is so, so sweet, dude. I would definitely sign these for you guys and get them right back to you. Oh, whoa. I remember you messaged me. I, I remember you now. I know who you are now. Now that I've seen this, now that I've seen this, I know who you are. I'm going to read this, though, before I show you guys what this is. This is really, really cool. Uh, surprise! Never thought you uh, you would see this in, in the playmat anyways. I judged at YCS San Jose. First one I got to judge, and they gave me this playmat. It was a lot of fun, and I had learned a lot from judging. I am retired now from judging, but I still play the game anyways. I figured you could better use this mat. Enjoy. Dude, thank you so much. So, so so much this is guys you guys you guys are gonna be like whoa what is this Whew, this is this is sweet guys look at this mat though <laughs> oh my gosh this is amazing look at this cyber dragon revolution structure deck 
This is the mouse pad mat, guys. This is the special edition mat. Oh, not, not special edition. What, what do you call it? The promo mat? Is that it? Is that the is that is it called a promo mat? Uh, the, the what, what it's called is escaping me right now. But it's it's the mouse pad mat. It's like not the paper mat that comes with the actual structure deck that you buy at the store. But this is like the uh, special edition or the special one that comes like you know this this, this is the full mouse pad mat. I don't know how else to explain it. This is like so sick. It's got Elton and on here everything. This is so cool, dude. Oh my gosh, thank you so, so much. This is one of the coolest things I own now. I'm not even kidding. This is amazing. Thank you so much for sending this to me. You really, really didn't have to. This is this means a lot more than, to me than you know. Um, I know who you are now. I'm going to have to find you in all my messages, but I know who you are now. <laughs> thank you so much for sending again. All right, so we have one more. This one's also from, uh, from I guess, from the UK. So let's see what this one is. Let's, can I just tear this one? Looks like looking at the light through it. Yeah, it looks like I can just tear this one open. And it's just a letter, it looks like. Is there anything else in here? Oh, so, so a couple of letters. All right, so then that's everything out of that. Let's see, so letter, read me first. All right, so let's read this one first. All right, so Yugi Dodo, yes, yes, baby, baby, sometimes, sometimes, father, <laughs> my man, leave Jerry Beans man alone. He is chill as <laughs> He's chill as fuck. I write, uh, write with a, uh, I write with a warning upon sleeping, having a dream of this guy. Oh, Xander Fox, I know oh, this guy. I, I write with a uh, warning upon sleeping, having a dream sequence where a trench coat version of me fights, po uh, fights uh, po po poor demons, poor demons, steals kryptonite, fails to do so, and is killed by Superman. The Flash appeared to me. He told me that it is impossible to break the circuit. Do not attempt to break the circuit. It cannot be done. <laughs> You're telling me, Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus, that I cannot break a circuit created by men? And now with my warning over, I have news. One, I have found a way of, of decent-ish pure Atlanteans. Oh yeah, you were playing pure Atlanteans. Although I fear that it is over-reliant on, on the Desires Challenge and may win a one out of ten matches, but it is still fun to play. Uh, two, I am in talks with a friend roommate to start a YouTube channel focusing on comics and Yu-Gi-Oh! If you say yes, we'll do it. Absolutely, I, I encourage everyone to start a YouTube channel and to or to chase their dreams in general and, and not only chase their dreams or just or to do whatever they want. I want you to work hard at whatever you want to do, and like anything, guys. And that goes for all of you. Just work hard and be yourselves and just and just and dedicate and you will accomplish anything that you want. And I promise. And that includes you, Xander. You write some of the best letters that I get. You really, really do. You you always make me laugh. I wish you luck on your YouTube channel. Please uh, message me with the with the link and I will check it out once you guys have have some videos up and stuff but um, and that is all my man I'll write you again I'll write you soon when I have cards for you stay fresh as usual keep making uh, them sh uh, sweet vids and now and and and, and uh, no I am super happy fan mail Monday will always be here uh, Xander Fox dude you write seriously you do write some of the best stuff I get you're like crack me up oh my gosh so here we go so this other one here we go. So, poss possible Yugi Dodo Bible passages. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> this is amazing. <clears throat> let, let, here, let me clear my throat so I can read these properly. <clears throat> and so, the designer made Pot of Desires, and it was good. As he looked upon his creation and read the card, said Banish 5. Then he whispered, Change it to Banish 10. Book of Moon, Chapter 3, Verse 10. He didn't say that, but that I I know I wrote I wrote all this. There are several books. There's the Book of Taiyu, the Book of Moon, Book of Life. Several different books. I wrote them all. Just just uh, check them out. You probably get them at your local library or whatever. Dude, I'm not gonna. I, I seriously, I'm not gonna read all these. These are really 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 great though. Dude, thank you so much though. These were all amazing. If you guys want to write down, like if you guys want to write a real life Book of Life, Book of Moon, Book of Taiyu, you know all that stuff based off of things that I say, I fully encourage you to do that I, I fully give you my permission to do that because I think it'd be hilarious I think it'd be really really funny and if you, like Xander Fox dude thank you so much for writing again you you seriously just always make me laugh you you write some of the best letters I get they keep writing dude and good luck with your channel I, I seriously hope that you and your friend just really really work hard and achieve all of your goals thank you so much for writing all right so we have a couple more packages and a couple more envelopes and I'm running out of battery so I gotta I gotta speed up a little bit like I know I've been going kind 
kind of fast this entire time, but I'm seriously on one bar of battery, and, they, and I fully charged both cameras. I'm not even kidding. And one camera, it doesn't help that one camera dies before the other, though. But this is sweet. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm like, this is, see, this is what I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and open this because this is exactly what I was talking about earlier. Um, this is the one that comes with the, um, the came with the actual um, structure deck, but the other was like, you know, the full mat, the full actual mat. This is way, way sick. Thank you for sending that, by the way. Um, let's see what this says, though. Dear Yugi Noto, I have been watching your vids for a while now, and I have been wanting to write you. Is it cool to, it is, it is cool to see a YouTuber from the same state I live in. I used to go to locals every week until the Hastings in my town closed. Yeah, yeah, Hastings uh, went out of business. Yeah, my, uh, my girlfriend used to work at a Hastings, uh, yeah, like years and years before we met, but um, yeah, they all closed, and her, one of her friends still works there uh, when they closed, which was sad. Uh, so now, it's usually just me and my uh, and my brother who duel together. I usually duel with my Cyber Dragon or Ultimate Af Athletes. I am pretty excited about the Vendred deck I am building in the envelope. There are some, here, there are some cards for you to sign and a play map for you to sign. Thank you for, uh, thank you and keep up the good work. Sincerely, Nathan Schoolfield. Um, I don't know, will, will this, hold on, will this, Fit. I guess that'll fit in there. Yeah, that'll fit in there. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. I'll sign that and send it back to you. That is way sick, dude. I haven't signed one of these for somebody before. This sounds awesome, dude. Absolutely, this is sick. I have not gotten the chance to sign one of these for somebody before. What do I even sign it? Uh, I'm gonna sign it right now. I know I just went on a rant about running out of battery, but I want to sign this. This is sweet. Um, um, you know what? I'm gonna sign right in the wing of Cyber Dragon Nova. Let's do that. Boom, dude, that is sick. Thank you so much for sending that. Let's see what th these got to be cyber dragons. Yes, dude. I will absolutely sign all these and uh, send them back to you as well. Thank you so much for writing. All right, guys, let's open up this huge package. Oh my gosh, this is the main thing. I have no idea what this is. I know it's got like a list on the front of it, you know, when people uh, ship international, but like I'm, I, I didn't even look at it. <laughs> like I, I got I got it out of the habit of looking at those because I didn't want to spoil the su surprise for myself because I want to find out what I get at exactly the same time you guys find out. So uh, that is it besides packing peanuts. There's a uh, packing peanuts. I'm pretty good. So that's some cardboard. There's some, like a bunch of what, what is this? this? That's cool. Uh, lots of stuff though. A lot more more peanuts. I have to eat those later. So more peanuts. What, what? Okay, let's find out what my instructions are. Let's find out what all this is exactly. So dear Yugi Jesus Jesus, master of the larvae moth, controller of the Jerry Beans Man army. When did I get a Jerry Beans Man army? This is my second time writing to tell you all the way from the UK in my last letter I sent you all three um, almighty cards of legend. Yes, dude! Uh, I'm amazing. Dude, Theo, Theo, is this you? Yes, yeah, dude, dude, yes, I know this guy. He makes me some of the coolest stuff I get. Like, like he makes me some of the coolest images, like all the Yuki Jesus images and stuff. He made all of them. He really did. So this is the second time he's writing, he, and he did send these, and I still have them. And I actually have the um, the originals. You guys have seen some of these in, in like, you know, thumbnails and like in videos and stuff before. They're actually really, really cool. Um, I'm amazed at the images I have made uh, for you as Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus have been liked and posted by other people and created into new memes by some of your other fans. Thank you for liking them and using them in your video thumbnail and other pages. Uh, thank you for making them, dude. I, I, I seriously cannot thank you enough for making them, and I don't think I have thank you enough for making them. I have sent you an, uh, uh, four more cards for you to keep. I used uh, different methods to make each one a bit better uh, than the last ones. I also have a, a designed a custom play map for you to spread the word of Yu-Gi-Oh! Jesus while you play thank you that's awesome thank you that is, what? that is awesome oh, i can't wait to see that that's gonna be so sick as a lover of tunes could you meme them so konami will make more tune support as uh, you were able to do it for love ray moth as it's now getting more support um I, you know what i'll put that on my to-do list because i i agree tunes need more support so we should um uh, we should, um, you know, troll them. Uh, this camera is about to die, though, so if it does die in the middle of reading this, I'm really sorry. I have 149 ones only missing some of the tournament's uh, championship turbo packs and a few others to complete it. There is a Japanese anniversary pack for you to have out of my collection. I've also been interested in collecting playmats after I went to my local sneak peek for Extreme Force and got the uh, sneak peek playmat. I know you you like collecting the structure deck playmats, so here are uh, some you can have. Oh, thank you very much. That is sick, dude. Thank you. Not sure if you already got them but a spare is good to keep yeah absolutely um, how how good of a Yu-Gi-Oh player do you think Eugene really is uh, he's not very good you should you should write do a comedy skit of Eugene uh, playing at the world championships beating all the scrubs what do you think of <laughs> that would be 
really funny. What do you think of, uh, of the, what we hit on the next ban list? Well, seeing as the new ban list just came out, I don't know when you wrote this, like, uh, so I'm, I'm just going to skip that one. I've uh, so assigned a card uh, for you um, to put in the Misfit Binder. I will put it in there. I picked a card I felt was fitting for the binder as it was always looked uh, like, uh, has always looked like an oddball to me. Uh, keep creating your videos, dude. I, I love, hope uh, I hope and love your stuff, and I will... Um, and I will continue to create more memes. Regards, Dio Downey. The power of Yugi Jesus. Thank you so much for writing, dude. You like seriously send like you you make some of the coolest stuff. Uh, P.S. I have also uh, left a return envelope in my address below. Um, already covered. That's awesome. Good job. <laughs> so, to save you editing time, do you have any spare rubber cloth play mats uh, you could send for, uh, send me for my collection? Um, seeing as there's a bunch behind me, yeah, absolutely. Um, I will. How about this? Um, you know what? Um, uh, just uh, I mean, uh, hold on, hold on. How about this one? I'll send you this one. I, I have this one because uh, Blake gave it to me. So um, I haven't put it on the wall yet, and um, it doesn't have holes in it yet. You know, from me putting it on the wall. So. I will, I will just send you this one. How about that? It is seriously the least I could do, like, you know, for for not only sending this, but for, for creating the memes and everything. This camera is seriously about to die. I'm going to hit pause on the video right now, charge this stuff, and then come right back to this spot and continue right where I left off. All right, I think I charged these enough to where we can continue. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go right back where I left off. Um, he said, I am also looking for any of the Rescue Squad archetype cards, fairy tale archetype cards, or a totally awesome. I actually don't have, uh, probably have the rescue stuff and, and the air others is just like I don't know where um, but uh, yeah I'll definitely send you that map it would be totally awesome did it if you could if you could as it has been hard for me to get stuff at, as, as my as my locals which was two building down for me uh, sh uh, two buildings down for me shut down last year oh, I'm sorry to hear that uh, message me if you uh, need payment for postage if you want to send me anything we'll do I'm sure you go uh, through lots of envelopes so I uh, left you uh, some different sizes if you want to send me anything or just uh or just use them for other fans thank you very very much for that um yeah we'll, uh, we'll get in touch because yeah i will send you i will send you the uh, firewall dragon the uh, code of the duelist uh matt i mean it's the least i can do seriously it's the least i can do for all the cool stuff that you made for the channel and everything and, and inspiring other people to make memes of me <laughs> and stuff like that like it's really really funny and it's just the least i can do and being real i have so many mats that i put them on the wall <laughs> like that's how many mats i have and stuff so it's it's really not that not a big deal. Thank you so, 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 so much for sending. And, um, uh, oh my gosh, this is just so much, though. I want to see this mat so bad. So let's move this over here for now. And let's see this mat. Oh my gosh! Oh, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, dude, I think you broke me. down a little bit this is probably I, I used up a whole bar of the battery like it took me a minute oh my gosh I, I only charged it like just enough I might have to charge her again oh my gosh this this mat though is amazing <laughs> this is the greatest thing I have ever seen <laughs> So I've gotten two, I'm, I'm not one, but two, but two really cool mats today. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm gonna start using this, dude. I'm not even playing. Thank you so much for making this. This is fantastic. Thank you so, so much. I'm gonna start swapping this out with this mat and start switching back and forth. It's, it's time for a change, you know? I think it's time for a change. I think you guys have seen this, this old mat for far too long now. Oh my gosh. Dude, thank you so much for making this. This is just amazing. And he shit, so, so that's what this is. It's just a, a pack of, 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 of uh, envelopes and stuff. I actually have a uh, larger envelope that I can, that I can, um, uh, thank you for these, by the way, but I have a larger envelope that I can send the mat in. Uh, just, yeah, uh, Theo, uh, we'll talk, we will talk, and we'll get this all figured out. But, um, dude, you seriously have sent me Oh, dude, these these uh, these these mats too, dude. Thank you so much. I don't have this one. Ooh! Dude, I can tell you right now already. I don't have the light sworn one. That is sweet. That is sweet. Thank you so much for sending that as well. Uh, what is the? Whoa, whoa. What is this? The anniversary. Whoa, ho, ho, ho. whoa, man. This is so sick, dude. 
Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm gonna honestly, I'm gonna honestly not even open this. I'm gonna keep this one closed. I'm, I'm gonna be straight. I'm not gonna open this. Thank you so much for this. Thank you so, so, so much, but I'm not gonna open it because that's that's an anniversary pack thing. And I think that that's something I'm gonna hold on to and keep with uh, the other stuff you guys, like the other really, really cool, uh, you know, trinkets and stuff that you guys have sent me. But dude, dude, this is amazing. Oh man, these tokens, dude, dude. You are on a roll! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> These cards! <laughs> dude, I'm the true hero! What does this one do? If this card is in your deck, you must start the duel by putting, um, Base down elemental hero Stratos into your banished zone. When this card is played, a special summon elemental hero Stratos from your banished zone to the field. Elemental hero Stratos does not count as banned as long as you summon it using this card. That's broken. That's a ritual card. That's a broken card. <laughs> That's <is> amazing. <laughs> Praise you, Gia. Jesus. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my gosh, dude, you crack me up. Oh, you guys are nuts. You guys, <laughs> Theo, thank you so much for making these. This is so sick. Oh, man. Hey, and then this is for the Island of Misfit Binder. Wherever I put that thing, there it is. Oh, my gosh. This is, oh, this is so amazing. And let's go ahead and put this in. Uh, you know what? You're going to start a whole new page. I'll fill up the back. I'll fill up. Oh, no, no. I skipped a page. You're going to start a whole new page. I'll fill up the back of this one later. You are going to start this page, dude. Thank you. And you said Sonic Duck, dude. And Sonic Duck's a good choice for this binder. I think the Sonic Duck is a is an excellent addition with Mystic Clowns and uh, the Big Eyes. And uh, what else do we got in here? Grass Clown, Soggy the Dark Clowns, Terror the Terrible, Jerry Beans Man. Jerry Beans Man. Everything. Oh, my gosh, dude. Thank you so, so, so much for sending this. Like, Dio. Um, um, honestly, dude, um, I'm gonna message you and we'll, and we'll get all this taken care of. Thank you, just I'm, I'm speechless. Thank you so, 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 so much again. Eventually, I'm gonna have a whole deck of myself <laughs> between what Chris Bushka has sent me and just everyone and everyone else and Theo and just uh, you know everyone else that's you know sent me fan made cards and stuff. Eventually, I'm gonna have a whole Yu Gi Oh Jesus deck. I'll have to profile that once I have enough cards. I might have enough already. I have to count. I have to dig them all out and like see with try to make a profile out of it and see um, how, <laughs> how it works. But oh my gosh, this is just oh it's amazing this is uh, by the way this is anthony cantos i'm like losing track i mean i i mean i'm still like i i i'm still overwhelmed guys even after like taking a break i'm just like wow um hashtag scout two three dear yugi thinking thinking emoji thinking emoji i am i am glad to see that you are uh, you're feeling better it is quite baffling though to see that even Yu-Gi-Oh jesus can get sick i know it but uh, I blame uh, I blame it on Ophion. I do too. On a more uh, personal note, Monday Night Raw uh, celebrated its 25th anniversary two weeks ago. But sadly, besides the opening uh, segment with Stone Cone Steve Austin, the show was pretty mediocre uh, uh, at best. I'm really sorry about that. Um, also looking for some, for also for some strange reason, um, almost um, every day last week, uh, kept I kept. I'm finding uh, new flavors of Mountain Dew that I haven't tried, so of course I had to buy them. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't have, I don't have a choice. Uh, anyways, this letter has been uh, pretty weird and random so far, so let's continue with you with some questions. All right, dude. Number one, how does Eugene feel about Cleforts right now? Um, I think he's, I don't know, I think he's having some PTSD issues right now still. Um, so, um, question number two, have you heard about um, Corey, uh, about Corey McDuffie? Corey McDuffie. Why is why is the name Corey McDuffie sound? Oh, he was he was our national champ one year, wasn't he? He was he, he no he no he didn't win with Evil Swarms. He won with Hat, but he went they no, not Evil Swarms. I'm thinking of Infernity. Uh, he he didn't win with Infernity, but he they they the American team the, like uh, the, all of them played Infernity that, that year. That, that was if we're talking about the same person. No, I haven't heard about Corey McDuffie. Uh, question number three: Are these are, are there are there any movies that you want to get um, a reboot? Um, a reboot remade um not really stop rebooting movies together think of new ideas how about that <laughs> for real uh, so question number four uh, let's be real um will stratos um uh, uh, will stratos uh, to one really uh, change anything not really let's keep it banned for the memes that's what i said earlier and that's how i feel about it like still um all right that's uh, that's it these cards um are for you to keep i might be um another um, um I, might, I might be taking another hiatus for a while but i'll um but um but I'll be back, signed Anthony Cantos. P.S. I saw a bag of Jerry Beans at uh, Jer Jelly Beans at Target and thought of you. 
Uh, I, I even said Jerry Beans instead of Jelly Beans. And he wrote Jelly instead of Jerry. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Is this is this your plan? Is, is it to condition me into thinking that Jelly Beans are Jerry Beans or something? Just tell me what your plan is. But we have some cards. Oh my gosh. Try a guess. Unstable Evolution. Night Bean. Gaga -ga -ga Magician. Man, this is the ulti one too. Dude, thank you very much. Rank Up Magic. Nubron Force. And then a Reasoning. You can never have too many of these gold reasonings because this is actually max for reasoning <laughs> because I don't know why it's max for reasoning. You'd figure, you mean, as much as this card's been played over the years and stuff, you'd think it'd be, you know, like an OTS or Astral Pack, like Super or something like that. No. Like, Gold Rare is a max for reasoning, uh, weirdly enough. And unless it got reprinted in a different rarity that I don't know about. But Anthony, thank you so much for writing again. Thank you so much for the cards. You are an absolute madman. Thank you for writing every single week. You are just the best. And Anthony may be the best, but there is another best. And that, of course, is Chris Bushka. So let's see what he has to say this week to wrap up this fan mail. This has been a crazy fan mail. It's been a ride. Oh my gosh, you guys have taken me through like so many different questions and emotions of just like, you know, from like hating Star Wars, to, like being really excited and just like everything. This is draining. These are getting really draining like not only on my batteries, but like getting <laughs> really draining on my like mental stability But um, so um, uh, this was uh, February 2nd. Hey, they're getting they're getting closer and closer and closer Very very cool. Um, hey, no, no that uh, hope this letter finds you well I wasn't able to finish my fake cards this week should finish them by next week though more fake cards All right, sweet in the meantime. I have a question for you. What's your favorite artwork that your girlfriend has made? Um, that's a really good question uh probably the decode talker one no 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 maybe not the decode talker one and honestly you didn't say Yu-Gi-Oh. you just said what's your favorite artwork that your girlfriend has made period um her uh, do you have a picture oh yeah 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 yeah. her dracula her dracula that she did was beautiful it was gorgeous oh my gosh and she did a snape that was really good she's done all kinds of stuff man until then um oh you all know what to do with sincerely chris bushka until then you all know what to do with your appendage in the like button, you all know what to do. <laughs> Sincerely, Chris Bushka. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much for writing. Thank all of you. I just want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for writing week after week and, and sending me stuff. You guys send me the coolest stuff out of everything in my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. You guys send me just, um, you know, amazing mats and just, and uh, it, it, even the fake cards you send me and stuff are really cool. There's some of the most sentimental things that I have, or, you know, the best things in Yu-Gi-Oh that I have and some of the best things that I have in my life, honestly, guys, are stuff that you have sent me and I have to thank every single one of you guys just individually. Thank you all so, so, so much for sending. Uh, thank you for, for helping me build this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon, for liking my Facebook page, for for liking my Twitter, for, for being on my Discord, just everything that you do for me, guys. I seriously have the best fans on the planet. I really, really, really do. And this battery is almost dead again because I just charged it just enough <laughs> to where I can finish the video and stuff. Now I have to like get to work editing and all that. And once again, guys, I just want to thank you for sending mail and, and just, it's it's really, really humbling. It truly is. Thank, all, I just, thank, thank you all so, so, so much. And until next time, guys, be sure to... Uh, well, you know what to do. Subscribe! <laughs>